Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to create a sales page in Kajabi that has a countdown timer on it with a unique deadline for each individual person visiting the page. So then after the deadline expires, they're taken to a different page. So for example, you can use this to create an offer that they can purchase at a discounted rate for a limited amount of time, say 15 minutes from when they first visit the page. This is different from a regular Kajabi countdown timer that you can put on a page because that is for live launches where the deadline is the same for everyone. Now you can use the same setup with another tool called Deadline Funnel, but that has a monthly price. So you're continuing to pay each month. And the setup that I'm showing you here uses a tool called Countdown Hero. And I have an affiliate link for this in the description to the video or elsewhere on this page. And this one is actually a lifetime deal. It's generally $97, but if you opt in, you get, you get it for $67. So just $67 and you have this tool that is very, very similar to Deadline Funnel. And you pay once and then you can use it. So today I wanna to show you how to create a sales page that has an offer on it, a discounted offer. And then after the unique deadline expires, they are taken to a second sales page, but now with the same offer at a higher price. Rather than putting the higher price offer on that second page, you can also choose to simply send people to your homepage, send them to your Facebook group, send them to a wait list, whatever you want to do. But for this example, I'm using the option to um, offer something cheaper. And then if the deadline expires, the same thing for a higher price. So what we need for this first is two offers inside Kajabi. So let's head over to Kajabi. We need an offer for the lower price. So in this case, $27 and for the higher price, in this case, $67. Then we need to create two sales pages, one that has the discounted offer on it and the second that has the higher price offer on it. So we go to website. We head over to pages, a landing, and then we choose to create a new landing page at the top right. Here I'm choosing from the sales pages and in this case I like this uh, creative one so I click that and we click get started. And I'm saying example, uh, let's say, um, countdown hero example page. This is one. So that is the first actual page that they see when they click a link inside their email. So um, you can send them a welcome sequence or an evergreen email sequence. And at some point you want to start selling them something and they have their unique link to go to this page. And if they ever go back to that link in the email after their timer has expired, they're now being sent to that second page. So let's first create this first one right here. It always takes Kajabi a little bit to set it up. So I'm just going to keep on chatting with you. <laughs> um, so here, uh, first, we need to head over to the pricing section. And I'm actually going to drag it up to the top just for this video so that it's a little easier to get to. So we have that right here. And rather than two offers, I just want one. So I click into pricing and I delete one of these pricing cards. And now inside this one, I change the price to uh, 27. And it's not a payment plan. It's just like a one time payment. We take this out. And of course you need to change the copy here as well. And the register now button, I'm going to move myself out of the way here. Um, the register now button should say something like buy now. And then we go to a checkout page and the checkout goes to that um, cheaper offer, right? The $27 offer and we save it. So now when they get to this page from the link that they click in your email, they get to this page and when they click buy now, they get to the $27 offer. Now, if they don't click, they get to the second page. So now we're going to make a duplicate of this page and then change the pricing and the offer. So here, let's publish this one so we can actually use it. And then here, click on the three dots to the right and click duplicate. Here we go. Okay, so let's first change the name real quick so we know what is what. And this is number two. And so let's here say uh, that line expired. Save at the bottom of the page. 
Okay, now we go back to the landing pages and we actually click into this second page that they see after their timer has expired. So now you could put something up top saying your deadline has expired, but you can still purchase for this other price, or you can just not say that. <laughs> Depends on what you want to do. Kajabi's being slow again. Okay, here we go. Um, so now we change this to 67. And the buy now this time goes to that other offer, the 67 offer. Okay. Now, please note that it says a number two here, but that is just the internal title for the offer. So the client will just see the same product name, whichever um, of the two they purchase. Okay. So now the next thing we need to do is get the URLs of these pages over into Countdown Hero. So first we give this one here a name. So let's say I'm calling this my um, $27 um, offer with a 15 minute timer. Here you can give it a label to, uh, basically if you have more timers, you can decide here if you want to um, uh, give it tags, right? So uh, say that you want to group them together. It makes it just easier to search for them later on. Then here you choose for one of the three uh, countdown options. This is a fixed date and time, which is basically the same as what you already have in Kajabi. So I wouldn't choose this one. Uh, for this example, I would go with this one in X hours and minutes. So I would just say zero hour delay and just 15 minute delay. The time zone for this one doesn't really matter. And then here the active countdown redirect URL is the main sales page. So that is this one. So we copy the URL and we paste that simply in here. And then the sales page that they will see after the page, after the timer expired, copy the URL, and we put that right here. Okay, so the second thing we need to do on this page is put this here in test mode so that if the timer expires whilst we're working on it, we're not being locked out of our own sales page so that we can still work on it. So make sure to always put it in test mode if you're still setting things up. And then once all of that is ready, make sure to untick it and then save the page. Okay, so the other thing we can do right here is change the design of the timer. So we click here and there's five different options you can choose from. And for example, um, you can change the, um, the wording here. You can change uh, how it's been displayed. So for example, more like this or simply more like this at the bottom of the page, top of the page, there's a lot of um, options that you can choose from that didn't change all that much, but maybe for the others it does. Um, so just choose one that fits whatever it is that you want to, um, you know, that closest, closely, as closely as possible matches what you want it to look. Okay, stumbling over my words here. Okay, so then you click OK. And now we need to get the timer onto the page. So we take the code right here, copy and bad code to the clipboard. Now we head back to sales page number one. And we're going to put the timer in. So for that, we need to add a code section to the page. Don't worry, it's really, really simple. Just from all those elements that Kajabi offers on the left-hand side of the page, we simply select the code element and then paste in the little bit of code that we just got. So we add a section, scroll down to the bottom and choose custom code and click add. And then we open it up right here and paste the code right in and we hit save. Okay, now we go back and we drag this all the way to the top. And for the sales page, I actually don't want to display the header. So I'm going to not show the header, hide it, hide it on mobile as well, and save. And now when we go to check the page, we will see it at the top of the page right here. Now, styling wise, this doesn't look the best just yet. So make sure to work on that. But I just want to show you the functionality here in this video. OK, so now we have it on the page and now we head back to Countdown Hero. And the final thing that we need to do is add the link to the sales page to the email because we don't need to send them to the exact um, URL for the sales page. We need to send them to a URL that's been created by 
countdown hero, right? So they change the URL to make sure that they can track what's going on. So um, this leads to that uh, sales page number one, but we need to use this one so that the system can track what's going on. So we go back to Kajabi and we go to marketing. And here, and we go to new email campaign and we create an email sequence. So let's say this is your welcome sequence. Just using the classic editor for this example, but you can use any of the others. Um, now let's say this is an email further on in the sequence. So maybe you want to send this as at day seven. And here is a unique offer for you. I'm not a copywriter. You can tell that, but <laughs> um, so hi, and we personalize with their first name. Okay. So remember we copied the link from here, from the bottom where it says link URL from a link in an email. We copy this particular thing and we go back over to the email and we paste that in now as you can see here it has square brackets at the end and we need to remove that and actually replace that by personalize and then email okay now we copy this whole thing and delete it and now we are going to insert for example a button but you can also just do a link but if you want to do a button you put that url inside here um click here and then open a new window, change the color. Great, that does not look particularly great. So maybe I'll just stick with, um, click here for your offer. We select that and we're clicking to insert the link, open it in a new window, click okay, and then save. So example sequence with that one. Okay. Obviously, if this is a welcome sequence, there's other emails coming before, but just for the functionality of this, basically what happens now is as soon as they get to this particular email and they click the link, their unique timer starts counting from the moment they click this link. And then if they purchase within the 15 minutes, then they purchase. And if they don't, then they get to that second page where they can still purchase, but not at that discounted price, right? So this is basically the setup. And remember this tool here, Countdown Hero has an offer that you can get it for just $67. So that is really, really affordable. Just one time. The link for it is in the description or in a button around this, um, around this video somewhere. Uh, make sure to check it out because it is really, really, truly amazing and saves you from having to pay month after month for a similar tool. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Let me know, keep posting in the comments. And if you have any questions around uh, this tool or any others, let me know. I'd be happy to help you further. Bye.